Hey everybody. Um, so go ahead and open your packet to document A right now. This video is only going to be for document A. Um, I want you to take a look at the source. This is from a cartoonist named Windsor McKay from the early 1930s. Quick little um, side note, Windsor McKay was one of the uh, main cartoonists for Walt Disney, uh, Disney uh, cartoons and movies at the time, which is kind of interesting. Um, okay, what I want you to do first is pick up your pen pencil and based on what you know about primary and secondary sources, um, I want you to write either primary or secondary above this cartoon for which one you think it is. Mine's pretty sloppy here, it's kind of hard to write with this, but just write the word primary or secondary for what this cartoon is um, or the source is. And then let's go down here and we're going to do a couple of... Um, I'll explain a couple of things here and then I'm going to have you guys answer these questions um, on your own while the video is playing. You can also pause it, obviously. There's going to be some times where I suggest that you um, pause the video and then open a new tab to do a little research, okay? So, uh, again, this is document A. What we see here is a tall guy with the word prohibition uh, across his chest. He's holding hands with a bootlegger, with a dope seller, with he's got a wad of money in his hand. Uh, this guy is a racketeer. may not know what that is, but you'll find out. And you've got your gangster here. You guys have heard that word. He's got a gun. Um, they appear to be pretty happy, right? Um, they're walking, marching towards a field, and or on a field, towards the word depression. So they're about to cross that. So dun, dun, dun. Think about what that means. Um, so first question. It says, uh, document analysis, who is the tall dancer in the middle? All right, pretty obvious hint here. All right, this is our guy in the middle, okay? Um, hopefully you know that's Uncle Sam. What I want you to do, so you can answer that, Uncle Sam, I just gave that one to you, but I want you to do right now is open up a second tab. Uh, so you've got the internet at your fingertips. Go ahead and open up a tab and search for the word Uncle Sam, um, or the term Uncle Sam, and I want you to find out a little bit about Uncle Sam. What does he represent? Um, who Who is he? What is he a symbol of? Uh, my internet's going real slow here, but you guys get the idea. Uh, so Google Uncle Sam. Tell me a little bit about Uncle Sam and include that in your response here. So the tall bootlegger in the middle, or I'm sorry, the tall dancer in the middle, this guy with the prohibition sash across his chest, is Uncle Sam. Who is Uncle Sam? Okay, explain that here. All right, so go ahead and pause the video and um, find that out for me, please. All right, welcome back. Um, you see bootlegger here. Question number two, what is a bootlegger? Once again, you've got Google at your fingertips. If you don't know what a bootlegger is, I want you to pause, and um, a lot of you won't, that's fine, and find out what a bootlegger is. Okay, Google the, the term bootlegger, there's the spelling, and I'll, I'll give you a hint, it is a very literal meaning, so that means that the, the term bootlegger comes from what it sounds like, so figure out what a bootlegger is, okay, pause and do that please, thank you. Okay, so you should have filled in what is a bootlegger. Um, question number three. A racketeer is often a person involved in extorting money. What is ex extortion? So here you've got a racketeer. Um, pause the video. Look up racketeer. Look up extortion. That's really the question here is what is extortion? So find that out. All right. Uh, we're back. Question four. Moving right along. What is the main idea of the cartoon? So as I said in the beginning, the look at the people here. They're pretty happy. They're holding hands, maybe even like a celebration kind of a mood. Uh, however, they're marching right towards this kind of um, this depression looming. It's coming up, okay, and, and that's a, our next unit is going to be the Great Depression. So what does that mean? Why would these people be happy? The prohibition means, you know, they're not able to sell uh, booze, buy booze, use booze, alcohol, and yet all these people are pretty happy. Why would that be? Why would the dope seller be happy, bootlegger, racketeer, gangster? What, what do they get? in a positive way from prohibition because they're all pretty pretty stoked right now why why are they happy about prohibition okay so what is the main idea of the cartoon think about it that's kind of a challenging one but you can you can do this all right we're back um, after you've answered number four question five what is the significance of the word depression in the foreground so this is the word depression I kinda just talked about it they're marching towards the word depression they don't see it in there it's in a field so it's got you know it's uh, symbolic of something what are they marching towards um, does that mean good times are coming does, or does that mean bad times are ahead uh, what could that mean for these people that are happy here because of prohibition so what's going to happen to prohibition is it going to end what would that mean for their business so think about that. What is the significance of the word depression in the foreground? Go ahead and take a second to answer that. 
All right, welcome back again. Last question, almost done. Uh, this is probably the toughest one. It requires some, some thinking here. Number six, how does the document help explain why prohibition was repealed? So this document doesn't really explain anything. It requires you to think about it. Repealed means reversed. So prohibition was reversed. Okay, so for about 14 years, alcohol was illegal to sell, use, um, buy, all of that. And then they reversed it. Why do you think they reversed it? Based on what you're seeing here with these guys looking pretty happy, got some money in their hands, you got guns, you're... Why would they, what, what, what does this say? What is the document, how does this document help explain why prohibition was repealed? So if you've got this law that's supposed to help society, but you've got all these guys who aren't good guys, um, the guys holding, he's, Uncle Sam is supposed to be a good guy, but this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy are not supposed to be good guys, but they're happy. So what does that say about prohibition, okay? And why would they have reversed it? Tough question, think about it and uh, write your answer here. All right, good job.